because let's see minus one yeah uh, we just have to do one-to-one -one copies until we get to the end and then at the end we just have to put the uh, put the new value right on top uh, okay I think that's all we're gonna have to do for that one um, Alright, I think that's all the methods that I want for now. Let's let's try this out a little bit. I'll make an E array. How about three elements? Or we do have to say let's do integers. Three elements. And then it needs a name. Uh, I'll just call it array. So let's do array dot set what did I call it? Set index, set element, set element. Set element zero to um, let's do like three, and then array dot set element one with five. We could do some operator overloading if we wanted, um, so that we didn't have to, so that we could be like array zero equals three. We could do that. Um, I'm not going to do that for this because I like to I like it that that it's clear that this is not just a normal array. Um, but you could do that if you want. So now let's try, oh, well, let's also write an output method just, uh, just for the sake of having it. Um, We'll do just something pretty simple like this. Um, array i. Okay, that should that should do it. So now let's call array dot output, and then do like a little separator, and then let's try erase element one and see how that works. Let's also try add element. Um, let's see. Well, no, let's try pushing an element like nine. And then the other one that we wrote, we did set element, erase element, push. We could call that push element to be clear, but whatever. Um, array dot add element. So let's try adding an element at index one. Um, let's see. Once we let's see, are we gonna want four? I think, or no? Because we're gonna. Well, let's just add a hundred so it'll stand out. Make sure that we're doing it correctly. By the way, I think I just realized that I forgot to do something in this push method. Um, first of all, I never deleted the array, and then I never reassigned it to the new array, which was the whole point. I don't think I did that in this add element either, so let's fix that real quick. Uh, okay, we have it in a race element. Okay, it looks good. Let's save this out. See how we do here. Oops. Um, new array was not declared in this code. Line 93. Uh, let's get line numbers. Array equals new array. Um, and this is in the add element. Oh, it's because I defined it in that scope. And I guess that messed it up. Well, I guess we didn't even. Yeah, so that's okay. We just have to. I put these in the wrong scope. Because they need to be within the if block or statement or whatever. Well, yeah, block here. Because we don't want it to delete the array if, if the index was out of the scope 
So, alright, that should fix it. Let's compile again. Okay, looks good. And now let's let's run this. Okay, so first we started with our just 357, and then we erased the element at index 1, which should have been the 5. We got 30, so something went kind of wrong there. Um, but at least we got rid of one of the numbers, so we'll have to look through that. Uh, we pushed back a 9 to add to the end of the array, so that looks like it worked. And then we also added an element 100 at index 1, which is correct. So it all looks good, except something went wrong with our erase element method. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm not doing this quite right. Because okay, we have three, and we're trying to erase number one. So this becomes two, and we make a, an array of two now. Um, if i, so this is going to go three times. If i is less than one, which it will be the first time, then I'll just copy it over. Then if i is equal to one, which it will be, so it won't do anything. And then if i is three, then um, you know what? We actually wanted to do this. I had this wrong. There, like that. I think that's right, because we'll get up to three. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Let's recompile and take a look. Okay, here we go. Three, five, seven, then just three, seven, the correct value. Three, seven, nine, three, one hundred, seven, nine. So I guess if we wanted, we could make this five, and then it would all be, it would just be one little circle with a new number on top. Okay, so looks like uh, looks like we finished our expandable array. Um, keep in mind that this will work with any kind of, any type of data, even custom classes. So that's kind of cool. Um, however, <laughs> similar to when we made the text class, there is actually uh, containers in the STL that are similar and have similar methods to our expandable array, except they're more efficient and they're better designed. We just made ours as kind of an exercise with working with dynamic allocations. Um, but there are better containers in the STL, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in a future video. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the next one or not, but it'll be coming up pretty soon. So subscribe if you want to see that video right as it comes out. Um, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time.